I this cat is called the largest five digits number in a series. I just ran through this one and I want to share my thought process on it. What do we have to do? Well, we have to create a function that takes a string as an input and we have to return the greatest sequence of five consecutive digits. How to go about that? Let me reveal something. We have to iterate through the string and we have to do something with slicing. How many times do we have to iterate? Well, for the length of the string, I propose. So let's do the iteration here for iteration in the range and it takes a endpoint. I want to iterate the, for the length of the string. So I'll put in the length of the string. That will be a prox 12 or 13 times. Now let me actually print something. Let's print the iteration. Yeah, so it starts with zero and ends with 12. So we have 13 iterations. And let's access the actual elements. Uh, let's print the entire string digits. Yeah. And yeah, let's start slicing. Let's say that I want to print out uh, all the digits from the start till the fifth element. Then I place in a colon here and we access the digits by their indices. So if we place in nothing, it will start at index zero, which is the one. But let's iterate through index five, for example. Yeah. Then we have one, two, three, four, five. But we have to evaluate more than just the first five numbers. Can we do something with this iteration? Zero, one, two. I guess we can. First of all, we have to iterate, build the first five numbers. That's what we have to evaluate. One, two, three, four, five. Is that the biggest sequence of numbers within the string? Second iteration, we have to check for two, three, four, five, six. Is that the biggest sequence of five digits within the string? And so on and so forth. Well, let's use the index here, or sorry, the iteration. To actually showcase what I mean. So what we do now is that we print out the first five digits the first iteration. Then we print out the indices from index one till index five and so on and so forth. But we have to do something on the right hand side, right? Here we have to add up the index. So we go from at the first iteration index zero to index five. But if we add up the index, we don't go from index one to index five, but till index six and so on and so forth. So let's print this out. Oh, sorry. Iteration, of course. I keep failing. Yeah, this is actually what we need. So the first iteration, we evaluate this five digits. Second iteration, two, three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth. And the last iteration, we get till nine, eight, seven, six, five. That's this one. And from iteration nine till the end, we don't have the five consecutive numbers, but that's actually not a problem because we have already evaluated the uh, sequences of five consecutive numbers within this loop. Um, but what we have to do is to convert it to an integer. We can do it as follows. Let's place a comma here. We can use the integer function and place in the entire calculation or slicing that we have made and execute it. Yeah. Let's make a new variable. Let's call it result is equal to zero. And what we have to do here is to make a condition if the string of five consecutive numbers is more than result and yeah it's basically impossible to be less than zero then we have to do something then we have result and then we should assign the value that is greater than the result to result so result is equal to whatever we have evaluated as the biggest sequence of five integers and yeah let's actually print out what's happening in the loop here as you can see the first iteration we have this value, one, two, three, four, five, which is the biggest sequence of five digits. And every iteration, it will assign the newest biggest sequence of five consecutive digits. And in the end, well, we have the result that we are looking for. So let's return it outside the loop. And there we have it. Let's test it out. Attempt. And there we go.